Since this video has been uploaded, it has gained a lot of traction, getting many, many, many views and a whole lot of questions and comments. None more important than this one. How does this happen? Well, let's take a deeper dive into this case. A case like this is not simple. It is not cut and dry. It's just not a simple matter of pressure on the bottom of the feet. This patient has a number of issues which contributed to this. First of all, as you can plainly see, he has had an amputation of the left great toe. That was done about a year prior to him seeing me for the first time. When there's a big toe amputation, there is a change in the dynamics of the foot, the way the foot works, and pressure distribution across the bottom of the foot as we stand and walk. If you have not seen the original video of this patient, click here and check it out right now so you can have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. The link will also be in the end card and it will also be in the description of this video. He lost his big toe because of an ulcer that developed due to his diabetes. Gangrene set in and he ended up needing an amputation. Fortunately, more of the foot was not involved. Unfortunately, it caused all of these biomechanical changes in his foot that led to the problems that he has now. Also, as you can see on both feet, he has high arches. High arches create more pressure under the ball of the big foot, particularly under the big toe joint, under the little toe joint and the heel. Another issue that causes problems in patients like this is diabetic neuropathy, which this patient definitely has. Because of his diabetes and his loss of sensation in his feet, he has lost the sensation of what we call proprioception, that is, where your foot is in space and as you walk. Therefore, as pressure continues to build, as the patient goes throughout his work day and throughout his every day, the pressure continues to build up and build up and build up, causing thickening of the calluses. Because of his neuropathy, he does not sense pain. He does not sense this build up. And so it gets to a point to where the skin underneath the callus finally begins to break down. This can cause ulcers like happened in his great toe, which led to his amputation. I often take pressure map readings of many of my patients, especially in patients in conditions like this. Clearly we can see just by looking at his feet that he has pressure issues on the bottom of his feet, but with the pressure map I can get more of an in-depth reading and know exactly where problems are. You may have seen this device in sporting goods stores and shoe stores when you want to get orthotics for yourself. I use it here because it is very accurate in giving me the pressure readings and letting me know what I need to do for my patients, especially in a patient like this. This is a normal pressure map of the feet. The areas in blue are the lowest areas of pressure and the areas of red are the highest areas of pressure. This is the pressure map of this patient. You can see that there are a lot of areas where his feet are not in contact with the ground, especially the left foot with the great toe amputation. Since there is not a lot of contact of both of his feet with the ground, most of his body weight is on those areas where there is color. So that's a lot of pressure on those areas with each step hundreds and thousands of times a day. As you can see, this patient had a perfect storm of diabetes, peripheral neuropathy, poor circulation, and poor biomechanics leading to the formation of these very thick calluses that led to skin breakdown. Fortunately, he came to me in time that he didn't develop another ulcer. Patients like this are always at risk of developing more problems. Let this be a cautionary tale for anyone out there with diabetes. You should see a podiatrist on a regular basis so that these things can be caught early, whether it be callus buildup, dry skin, cracks in the skin, things that can lead to skin breakdown, the formation of ulcers, gangrene, and eventually loss of the toe, foot, or leg. Thank you for your questions and comments, folks. Keep them coming so we can keep this discussion going. But most of all, take care of your feet.